Hey y'all, so I want to do this video after I seen that Marcel had gave Kimmy a tribute, wishing her health and prosperity, you know, letting her know that God is with her, things like that as she goes through her treatment. And I feel like I want to do the same for her as well. I'm so grateful that she was brave enough to share her story on TV and that people know what she's going through and that we can also stand in the gap and be strong on Kimmy's behalf. Because I know sometimes when you're going through stuff, it's very difficult, but you know, it's a people around you that uplift you and say that you can do it you can make it that you're more than a conqueror that gives you strength to keep on going so I feel honored that we can do this for Kimmy and like other people mentioned I know that you guys are probably still in a blackout but nevertheless we still can pray and we still can wish well wishes for Kimmy so that's what I wanted to talk about in this video I realized for me that I'm going to pray the results I'm not even going to talk about the diagnosis I'm not going to acknowledge that that. we all know what that is but at the end of the day I know that my bible says that by his stripes we are healed so that's like present tense we're already healed so it's more so getting our mindset ready and prepared to receive our healing because that's what God has for us and that's what he wants for us I realize that's a lot of the problem like a lot of times we pray things and we wait but I think now it's about being being an expectation for when it's going to come like already walking talking thinking acting healed you know what I mean doing those things when she gets to strengthen the mindset to do those things but going back and doing the things that she enjoys you know and getting back to that state um also I feel like things that would be helpful is actually testimonies like a lot of times I do that when I'm believing God for something sometimes I'm just like uh, I don't know if it's going to happen but see it can't be no doubt when you believe in for God to move and do things on your behalf but sometimes I have to do that I go and watch testimonies I see I watch people get their apartments or houses or cars or anything like I said healing if I'm going through a sickness or something like that I'll go on online and just listen to other people's healing stories and that gives me faith that if God can do it for them he'll do it for me too so that's another thing that I feel like you know would definitely be helpful in Kimmy's situation and also in your situation sometimes you gotta watch that stuff like how God paid my rent and things like that like things that's gonna uplift you and let you know like you know if God did it for them he can do it for me it's a scripture in the Bible that's like we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony so you know when you go through something and you're on the other side of it it's good to talk about it. it's nothing wrong with that like letting people know what God did for you because it also encourages somebody else and they may not be going through that same specific situation but just seeing God's hand move on your behalf lets them know that he can do the same thing for um them you know because God is no respect a person you know he he loves us all he wants to do good for us you know so he's there for us he's that ever present help so i know that that's the same thing for kimmy right now so that's how come i feel like yes this is our time to shine not like in a prideful way but our time to give back to someone on the cast that you know we all enjoy we all love and honestly we would do the same thing for anybody you know if anybody was going through a situation we would definitely be praying for them and wishing them um good health and that you know this is not the end because literally there is nothing too hard for God and for me I know that no matter the diagnosis no matter how rare aggressive no matter what it is to God it's, it's a light thing he can heal that just like a cold you know what I mean I think sometimes I know the way that doctors report things and news reports things they make certain diseases and diagnosis like so scary but to God it's just like nope <laughs> I, I got this too. This is under my feet too. Like I died on the cross for this too. All sicknesses and diseases, like they they don't have no place, you know? If you don't want it, you don't have to accept it. So I just wanted to say that because I know that there's nothing too hard for God to remove, to undo, to reverse, to erase, to eradicate. Nothing is too hard for God. You know, it's God we're talking about. Doctors may not know what they're doing. Doctors may. Doctors, you know, um, we love them. We appreciate them. But even their knowledge is limited. Even sometimes you hear stories like that. People say that doctors will say, we done all that we could do. But it's that faith, that belief, that will to live. That, that I believe does the work you know remember how in the scripture say daughter your faith has made you whole 
You know, nobody laid the woman down and used a scalpel or went and cut this and that. No, it was the woman's faith when she touched it. She knew that by touching Jesus' garment, she would be made whole. So it's more so the knowing, um, renewing our mind. That's why I say it's about your mind, your thoughts, healing thoughts, healing prayers, and already thinking and believing that it's already done. Like I said, it's nothing too hard for God. It doesn't matter what the diagnosis says. That's not the final say. If you don't want to believe it, you don't have to accept it. You know what I mean? If you don't want that for yourself, you don't have to accept that for yourself. You know, but I feel like sometimes as soon as we come in agreement with it, that's when things happen. And not to say that, like, you know, that's the case all the time. But you ever notice that, like, somebody say something to you, you like, you wasn't even thinking that. But then all of a sudden you start, I don't know. (laughs) So it's just like one of those things that I know, like, in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sickness, money, finding, no matter what it is, we always should be watching our thoughts and literally what we're feeding our brain, what we are keeping in front of us. I really feel like that plays a lot to do with what we experience. So I wanted to say that God always has the final say in his word is true. You know, what he has to say about us is true. Not what the doctor say. That's that can always change. You know, that may be a fact, but it's not truth. Truth always trumps facts. Facts be changing. You know what I mean? But truth never changes. So like I said, I know it's easier to speak on things when you're not the one going through the thing. So that's why I'm glad that, you know, Kimmy is sharing her experience and sharing what she's going through. So we can be strong on her behalf. We can call things that be not as though they were for her. We can speak life. We can speak what we want to see for her into existence. It makes me think about, you know, cancer being a bully on a play ground messing with a kid you know uh uh-uh we ain't having that cancer go away get away you don't got no place in here what are you doing here Uh -uh. we we not having that we don't want you here you don't belong here go ahead pick on somebody else your own size Uh uh-uh back away off of kimmy her family her bloodline whatever it may be and i pray healing and prosperity for all of us as well you know because like i said god got us and it's just about renewing our mind with what god says about us and not what society the doctor's reports anything the news none of that stuff you know because that is what really be getting us down i feel like sometimes we have a lot of more news in us a lot of more statistics and figures in us than we do god's word and that's how come we don't really get godly results you know what i mean it's like yeah (laughs) that's just what i be thinking but i say all that to say let's keep continue to keep kimmy in prayer I know that she will live and declare the works of the Lord, and there is nothing too hard for God to do. I'm excited to see her progress. I know these eyes want to see. I know these eyes want to hear a testimony, and I know that you guys got testimonies. Like I said, it don't even have to be about a, like a sickness or anything like that. I know that the people listening to this got a story or a situation where they know that it was nobody but God that brought them through. You know, I know. So why don't we just share those things in the comments? You know, and let people know. Sometimes that's what I do too. When I be feeling down, y'all gotta go and listen to like those popular gospel songs on here on youtube like remember the song by fred hammond no weapon formed against me yo i went on youtube i'll put the um link um down at the bottom and i went to the um youtube and read the comments i was in tears people literally would say how like a mom her son was shot and things like that and her son survived like that that song really got them through um situations like those testimonies like i said it really be having me in tears i'd be like oh my gosh this is so wow so i think that we should start sharing that and even if you don't have a story i know that your mama got a story your dad got a story your grandma your auntie your uncles i know you got a story to share and how you seen the hand of god move on your life and i think we should talk about that i remember this scripture where it's like you know um, we're going we gonna to remember what God did We're going to tell our kids What God did How he brought us through How he took us out of the land of Egypt You know what I mean Like, And that's how can we know the stories today Like, We got to keep talking about this Because a lot of times Like I said A lot of times we talk so much About what the news is saying You know what I mean But God is still God He's still on the throne mm-hmm. 
he is still God. He's still blessing us. He's still moving mountains. Things are still happening. So his hand is still on us. So I feel like those are the things that we should talk about. Even the fact that we're here today is because of God's grace and mercy. You know what I mean? And I'm grateful for that. And yeah. <laughs> so I say all that to say, let's continue to keep Kimmy in our thoughts and prayers and if it's you that's going through something you know you're also in our thoughts and our prayers just know that god is for you if god be for you who can be against you i don't care what you could be facing i don't care what it looks like i don't care what the bills say i don't care what the doctor reports say you get you some scriptures and you stand on that word you visualize it you put it in your head and you think on that over and over not what the these situations can change no matter what you're facing and god always causes us causes us to triumph so if you feel like you're not winning right now that's okay that means it's not over the story is not done this is not where the end this this is not the end he always causes us to triumph so you will end in victory because that's just the nature of god you know what i mean so that's all i'm to say I know y'all gonna be like she was preaching, but that's okay. You know, I feel like you gotta hear some things that make you feel like you can do it. You can get over this, no matter what it is. So I'm excited for your growth. I'm excited for Kimmy and her testimony, and I'm excited to hear what you guys got to say about this. And yes, y'all. Other than that, I will talk to you guys again soon. Love you. Bye. Met Saint Quetta, man, a girl was having sex. Met Saint Quetta, man, a girl was having sex.